With ongoing environmental awareness, climate change, secondary poisonings, we are all very aware at Builders that we need to have organic options. And organic solutions are available to us. We simply need to know what they are. This clip is going to show you some great organic and responsible alternatives to pest control within your garden, your ornamental garden, as well as your edible garden. So starting off with Exhibit A. This is a Pak Choi, which has a dual infection. So in what I'm looking at here, we have a caterpillar infestation. How do we know? Number one, you can see the web. That's your first pointer. The second thing is we can actually see the droppings. And most often where you've got caterpillar damage, strangely enough, you're also going to find aphids. Now aphids are those six-legged little guys. What happens is they have a sharp pointed proboscis and they stick that into the plant and they suck out the sap. When they are doing that, remember they're removing nutrition. They also carry a lot of other diseases with them. And nine times out of 10 where you've got aphids, you're going to find ants because the ants actually milk the aphids, remove a sweet substance from them, which in turn they will take down to their nests to feed the larva. That is called honeydew. Unfortunately, when we get the ants in this process, the byproduct is often something that we see a lot and we don't know what it is. It's called sooty mold. You can see it's covering the leaf. And what happens is it reduces, obviously, photosynthesis because the plant cannot photosynthesize with this black sooty thick layer on top of it. So by getting rid of the aphids and the ants, well then this, the sooty mold, will eventually just fall off in time. So how do we get rid of the aphids? Folks, there are many ways. Number one is simply get a hose pipe with a strong jet nozzle and blast them. The other way, which is very satisfying, is just to squish them with your fingers. And of course, there are many products which are very safe to use, which can deal with aphids. Oleum is one, Margaret Roberts Organic Insecticide is the other, Organocide and Eco Insect Control can all be used for aphids. It's always very important, folks, to read the instructions. Please, we have these instructions for a reason. It gives you a warning, it gives you precautions, as well as your dosage and directions. Solutions for ants are quite simple. Folks, you could use Ludwig's Insect and Spray or Organicide Plus. Both of these are eco-friendly. The other option to deal with ants, of course, is one of the simplest methods. Literally just get an old stocking, tight around the base of the plant and then slap a whole lot of Vaseline around it. And what that does is it prevents and it creates a barrier from the ants walking along the ground, up the stem, trying to get over your barrier Vaseline and then up to the plant. The other way, instead of using a stocking, is just to take some duct tape, apply it around the stem, and then once again, put the Vaseline on that or take the duct tape and reverse it so that the sticky side is facing outwards. There are many solutions that are available for caterpillar infestation, folks. And number one, you could use Eco Insect Control, you could use Ludwig's Insect and Spray, you could use Organicide Plus. Um, the two which are probably in terms of your least harmful to anyone would be Margaret Roberts Biological Caterpillar Insecticide or Lava Pro. So whilst you're in the garden and you're looking around for your aphids and whether it's caterpillars, folks also keep an eye out for red spider mite. Now red spider mite attacks normally during the heat of summer when they're very, very dry conditions, famous for roses and also on all your cucurbits. A great option would be to use EcoBuzz Pest Pro, which does white fly as well as red spider mite. So does Margaret Roberts Organic Insecticide and Organocide Plus. So the fluffy stuff that we've got here is called mealybug. Folks, mealybug is an insect, although it looks like cotton wool. And the product that you can use is oleum. Now, oleum is an oil-based product. Please do read the instructions once again. 
do not spray it in the heat of the day because this is an oil. If you put the oil on the plant in the heat of the day, it is going to actually burn the plant. So this should be applied either early morning or late afternoons. Guys, the little bumps on my lemon tree. The bumps on my lemon tree are in fact caused by an insect. And um, this is called citrusilla. This little guy flies along, embeds itself on the underside of the leaf, follows its reproductive process, and then when it's done and hatched its babies, it then leaves and moves on to the next host plant. What does it do? Well, citrusilla, as you can see, removes all the nutrition out the leaf. Applying a liberal dose of oleum onto the new foliage as soon as you see these guys is one way of dealing with the citrusilla very effectively. It simply smothers them and kills them. Folks, the other insect that can cause a lot of trouble, and this is mainly in edible crops, is something called leaf miner. Now, typically, this is a little ho ho that gets in between the cells and it basically, it's eating the chlorophyll, it's eating the cells within it and causing these little patterns that we see, which is called leaf miner. There are products on the market that are eco-friendly, which you can use. The one is called Eco Insect Control from Effecto, but please folks, there is a waiting period on this. So read the instructions. It means that once you've sprayed, you have to wait so many days before it is safe for you to eat the vegetable or the fruit. The one which is literally spray today, eat today, is EcoBuzz Lava Pro, which does leaf miner. Another insect which often affects woody shrubs, mature plants, is scale. Now, scale is a little insect, quite small in size, a couple of millimeters, that normally looks it has a little bit of a curve to it. Now scale embeds itself onto the leaves and once again removes essential nutrition from the plant. As a solution, I would recommend oleum, a couple of applications which will smother the scale. Last up are diseases. Now with diseases, generally you're gonna find powdery or downy mildew and you can see it on the leaves here and normally as you wipe the leaves so you can remove the mildew. You often find it on younger plants, especially if we've had a lot of rain, it makes perfect conditions for mildew to develop. There are very effective treatments against them as organic options. Margaret Roberts' organic fungicide will do powdery mildew and once again, very effective. And Disease Pro is one which will deal with powdery as well as downy mildew. Folks, once again, it's about how do we prevent all of this? And we prevent it by watering correctly. So don't water early in the evenings, rather water early in the mornings, especially when we're talking about fungal diseases. And of course, the health of your plant by feeding them, keeping them well ventilated as well, and companion planting always works well as a preventative way of dealing with insects and of course, any diseases. Well folks, remember all of these products are available at your local builders, either in store or online. Remember to visit the blog and check out the YouTube channel where there's more green inspiration and responsible gardening techniques, hints and tips to make you a better, more conscious gardener. Get to builders and get it done.